Jesse! In the world of truffle dog training, you're going to come across different breeds in different countries, looking for different types of truffles and lots of different learning styles. But one thing we seem to share are the problems and the different challenges in truffle training. There are constants, dogs that love to run off, dogs that won't transition easily and dogs that just aren't interested. Now, I've been training Jessie here since the start of the year and just days ago she amazed us all by unearthing 700 grams of truffles. It felt like a true victory but the celebrations were kind of short-lived when this happened. Of course we had a good laugh about that but it was a humbling reminder of the unpredictable nature of truffle dog training. And many of you I know have experienced very similar turns of events when you're training your own dogs. Uh, the dog is progressing really well and then there's this sudden regression just out of nowhere. You kind of thought you had a star on your hands and then all of a sudden they just seem to forget everything overnight. And you're left wondering what happened. Well the truth is that Truffle dog training is not a linear process. Well, I don't suppose any kind of learning ever is. We take steps forward and then we'll take steps backwards. And then, and at times we may even find ourselves going round and round in circles. There's a learning curve and performance just fluctuates. Now, there may be clear reasons why this happened. Perhaps there were some distractions that day, some extra scents or some noises other animals or some unexpected objects like these goat horns. However, other less obvious factors can also affect the dog. Timing is one of them. At the time of the day when you go out can not only affect the dog's mood, but the truffles themselves. Truffle aromas are very much affected by temperature and humidity, and obviously these vary throughout the day, just as much as the dog's energy levels do. And this can act as a vicious circle because if the truffle aromas are faint then it becomes more difficult for the dog. And when a task is too difficult, dogs and people quickly get bored. So try varying the time of the day and one thing you should definitely be doing is taking novice dogs out mid-season. Now mid-season is when the truffles are at their most abundant and they're more mature so they're more fragrant than those early season specimens. So do your training with beginning dogs later in the year. Rotten truffles especially are really easy to find for the dog and that will get them off to a good start. And even though rotten truffles aren't the ones you want to eat or to sell, then they are the best for training purposes. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, good one, Jesse. Nice one, Jesse. Experienced dogs go out early in the season to hone their skills and mid to late season for your beginners when it's easier to find the truffles. I'd like to suggest that you keep notes. Write down the various factors, weather conditions, time of day, and keep track of the dog's behavior in each training session and how the dog performed. This is gonna help you to identify which factors affect your dog's learning process. And this will help you to tailor your training methods accordingly. Now, the key reason for all of the ups and downs over the course of a truffle dog's training is the lack of reinforcement. Solid training takes time, and the key to this is repetition and consistency. Repetition is essential and consistency is crucial. As trainers, we need to look at our own behavior too. Your goal is to be as patient and as persistent as find possible. Jesse, find so look Jesse. at yourself. Is there room for improvement in those areas? Because you can't be throwing all the blame on the dog when you're finding your feet as a team. When you catch yourself feeling frustrated, try instead Jesse, to drop. embrace the challenge. Drop it. Again, keeping notes may help you stay objective Bravo, rather than getting too caught up in the emotions. Remember too that this is one of the benefits of training your own dog. Admittedly, it is kind of hard work, but this hard work is the opportunity to understand your partner on, on a deeper level. So what happened next with our Jessie? Well, she's not even a year old yet, so she's very much still in the process of learning, which means she has good and bad days. But if you look at the overall trajectory, you start to see the yes. good days are on the increase and they're really outnumbering the bad days as we spend more time together. Thank you, Jessie. Good girl. I Good girl. also see the increase in her desire to please me. 
she, she's growing up now and there's little things like I see the way she waits for me coming out of the forest like as if she wants to check that I'm okay and maybe this is the greatest reward it's not just about finding the truffles although obviously that's what we're trying to do but watching the slow unfolding of this bond between you and your truffling partner